Hello, welcome back to FromSoft Serve. Today we are in Dark Souls 2, and specifically using the lighting engine, uh, which I still, you know, consider to be arguably the best Souls mod ever. You know, up there with DS Fix for the Prepare to Die just for DS1. Like, the amount of stuff that it's added to the game, to, you know, parallax occlusion mapping, uh, distant terrain, complete rendering engine change obviously is the baseline thing and shadow rendering and DL or uh, DLAA or FSR and literally everything <laughs> it's like it has completely overhauled Dark Souls 2 to look truly insane uh, and so it's just a an amazing mod uh, that I've obviously made a texture pack for uh, and uh, there's one thing that's always bugged me about Dark Souls, uh, or DS2 lighting engine. And it's kind of a funny story in that it was months ago that I kind of made the same criticism on Twitter. And then I was, you know, at some point banned from the Discord, despite never really messaging in there. So I can't even use, like, the most recent builds of DS2 lighting engine because I, I don't have access to the Discord. So the version I'm using is off Nexus mods. And why I was banned, I don't know. Uh, I hear that I am not liked very much in the Lighting Engine Discord, which is whatever. I've really praised it a lot, and it's really just the mild criticism of artistic changes. So I wanted to show that today, because I will be putting out a mod that it's a super simple mod. It's not even, it's not even, it's not hard work. It's not anything. It's literally just unchecking a box and then a couple other boxes uh, on a case-by-case -case basis. But... So in uh, DS2 Lighting Engine, you can go to the Lighting Preset, and you'll notice there's this top option that says Disable Lighting Overrides. And so right here, this is how DS2 Lighting Engine looks by default uh, in terms of the how Majula looks and the colors and all that. This is how you will see it by default when you download DS2 Lighting Engine. Now, admittedly, there is... Uh, some actual tone mapping, and there's a lot of different options. Right now I'm using no tone mapping. You can apply a tone map if you want, and it slightly changes the, uh, this is the default tone map actually that, that is active, it's the DS2 app LUT. I prefer no tone mapping, because uh, I want it to be as accurate to the base game as possible. But, so this is what you'll see if you turn off the tone mapping, and even with tone mapping, you'll see that it doesn't match how Majula actually looks. That's my issue. It doesn't, it, it doesn't have the color balance of Majula. And I really figured this out because I had first played Dark Souls 2 using the lighting engine. And that was what most of my playthroughs were with. It was only when I went back to vanilla DS2, which obviously doesn't have the lighting engine support because it's DirectX 9 based. And I played through that, and I was like, oh my god, this is what the areas actually look like in terms of artistically. Because um, obviously Lighting Engine is better in every way in terms of technically, on a technical basis. Um, but even Scholar, obviously, without the Lighting Engine, is what, this is what it looks like. So, you can see here, when I turn, I enable, which is confusing, if I enable the Disable Lighting Override. So basically what it does, and this is by the description of Lighting Engine itself, which it says all lighting colors are picked up from the base game. And that's important because I want it to be based on what FromSoft originally picked and designed. And so you'll see, like, look at this massive difference. The color tone is just completely different. And for me personally, um, now of course here, I think does look better when you have it uh, with the lighting overrides. See, that's that's the confusing part. This part looks fine. And when you disable it, it goes back to the original sky and it kind of loses the bloom. Now, funny thing is that bloom, a good portion of that is in the base game without lighting engine. So I'll have to go in there and enable that manually, uh, even with disabling that. But um, it's far more accurate. So if you turn over here, like it's just a completely different artistic vision. Like, look, look what we're losing. That's I think that's what bothers me. Is, look at everything we're losing. This is lighting engine by default. 
and this is when you go back to what the base game wants and was designed like it, it, it to me it's just I, I find it to be so much better I, I'm not saying the other one is bad I'm saying my preference is for this I love what Dark Souls 2 looks like by default now I know some people will disagree and that's fair that's fine but I was going to go to some different areas just to show um, because I can basically release a little file. It's a tiny little text file that basically controls that. So then users don't need to go to each area and disable this or enable this little checkbox. So basically you can just download it, copy it in, boom, and then you can have all your areas look like the base DS2 because it's, it's just a, it's a big difference. And I've kind of been surprised by how different it can be depending on the area. Certain areas look very close some differ a lot i i just i don't know i i have to admit i found it very interesting um so this one okay so this is what it looks like in uh le by default and then when we disable the overrides so once again it's a color balance change uh and here it's 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 not the biggest change in the world except for you lose the sky you lose the darkness from the sky that's where it's a huge difference and I had to make sure I was this I was enabling the enable dynamics guy because if you turn that off and then have the this unchecked it, it looks really fucking weird so I wanted to make sure I was being accurate and consistent um, but yeah like look at the change it's massive it's it totally changes the vibe you know, like when you look at the ground, it's not a big difference. Um, like obviously there's a warmer tent by default and then it's colder uh, when you re-enable this. But like, I just was like, what, what are we doing? Uh, and then let's go to hide. I'll go to some areas. I, I got a bunch of screenshots that I can show as well. I'll put that on the mod listing. Um, because I was pretty consistently just like, whoa, what, what, what do we got? What do we got going here? Um, okay, so let's try this. Yeah, so this is hide uh, with LE default is what we're seeing here. And then when we disable that and go back to the base game, like look at that sky. Look what we're losing. We're losing that. I, you know, it's just, and there's a big brightness difference. Like it's much brighter like this. And when you disable that, it goes back to, I think it just fits a lot better you know and I, I know I'm biased but I think I'm literally just flipping back and forth and I'm like I, I honestly prefer when Ellie listens to the base game and every single time I've done that I've basically gone yep okay I prefer the base game now I understand that's my opinion and so if people prefer how Ellie looks by default that's perfectly fine perfectly valid uh, but I'm just saying, like, I, you flip them back and forth. I think people would like to see the option of, like, look what we're losing. Look at all the extra fog that's being added in the distance, and you're missing a little bit of the distant detail there. Um, I just, yeah, I don't know. And also, you're getting, like, more surface detail you can see on this. And when it's brighter, it kind of becomes a little bit more difficult. Um, yeah, I just, I don't know. I feel like there's artistic changes in this default preset that my preference would be, and hopefully by making this video, if in any way the default lighting engine can just be default to Dark Souls 2, because it's obviously very customizable, which I love, and you can change anything and everything that you want, but it does bum me out a little bit that a, a majority of people playing Dark Souls 2 today on PC could be missing out on what the base game actually looks like, and they'll never know. And they may prefer that, but they won't know. Because I think personally they'll play through it and with LE and never know. Because it looks great. Like, I think by default it looks great. I'm just, it's the, it's the difference that I'm like, I don't, I don't know. I don't, I'm not preferring that. Um, or at least make it clear that there are artistic changes being made. Um, that would be my preference. But once again... Uh, I'm fine putting out a little text file. Uh, so here we have Bastille. And 
once again, let me make sure I have the, yeah, so I have that enabled. And so this is what it looks like in LE. And then this is what you get by disabling it. It's so much clearer. I understand you're losing some of the bloom up here, but come on. Like I, I just like that view. We're losing that the added brightness that they're doing just completely changes the vibe of the area. I, I don't know. It, it, I, I'm really passionate about this stuff. I'm sure you guys can hear it in my voice. I'm just passionate about Dark Souls 2. And this, like this vision, this, I don't know, this matches so much better with the baked light maps that are already there. And like the lighting setup, I, I feel like when you move away and you brighten the sky so much, you're taking away a bit of the moody vibe. Uh, when you look at like the ground, it's not that as big of a difference. Like you can see like a color change here. Like it's not that big. Um, I will say here uh, on a positive point, uh, as obviously my overall opinions of LE are that it's amazing and fantastic and makes Dark Souls 2 look so fucking awesome. Um, and you can actually look at how they added like a slight like height map. It's not they. I think they did a height map, and it had something to do with the normal already had information baked into it. And so look at this extra detail that you're getting. Yeah, I saw this, and I don't remember if this is in the base game. There's some shadow issues going on. Um, kind of weird, but yeah, like look at the added depth, and oh, it's so good. It, it's in a lot of the game too that you can you get this added depth on a lot of surfaces with lighting engine, which is so fucking awesome. I love it. I just don't like... <laughs> I don't like the artistic changes. Um, so, let's do that. Uh, let's travel to... Yeah, this is a big one as well. Big one. It's like an iconic shot. So let's look... Here, Huntsman's Cops. Like, look at this. And this is what we're seeing here is after I've already disabled the uh, artistic overrides. Look at that. It blows my mind. The green. I I I could see tweaking it, but to make it such a huge difference, I I don't know. That to me is just bizarre. So yeah. I just, I don't know. That, to me, I was kind of, I got to admit, I was a little shocked. I was like, wait, what? Why are we adding that much green? Um, I know it sounds like I'm being very critical. It, and I guess, to be fair, I'm already not liked in the DS2 lighting engine Discord. So at this point, like, fuck it, I guess. Like, they're going to see it as like a hit piece. But I'm like, man, it it's such a great mod. And it's, it's obviously one of the... I'd argue it's the most important Dark Souls 2 mod ever. Uh, and I think that's just kind of a shame that it changes things that drastically by default. I think that's my issue, by default. Um, so yeah, here you can see it adds like a ton of fog. And once again, I think we're losing the vibe. Like, I think it still is a vibe, but there's so much that's now being occluded by this this fog. And it's because here is after I've disabled it. And this is the default lighting engine setup. I just, I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Am I crazy? Am I the only one that's preferring this? Because I showed it on Twitter and a lot of people were like, oh, sh yeah, okay. That is, that is a big difference. Because uh, it's not even about, I mean, I guess it's, somewhat about better or worse, but that's purely my opinion. I'm not saying any of this is factually worse. I'm just saying I prefer, because I always want to make that clear that I'm not shitting on it just to shit on it. I'm very much, it's my opinion that I prefer how this looks. And so I don't want to make it into like, oh my God, they're ruining this. Like, no, of course, of course not. Like, it looks great. Either way, I just think it, for me, it looks better. Um, so yeah, let's look at Shaded Woods. Uh, so this is after I've already disabled everything. And this is prior. So this is default lighting engine. So like, we can't even see the trees anymore. 
Oh shit. Hey, homie. What's your deal? Where the fuck did you come from? Get the fuck off. Yeah, that's my high level character, thankfully. But like, why did we turn down the shade? The shaded woods? I don't know. I like I don't get it. It just completely changes the vibe. So, yeah, there's another one. Um, now Iron Keep was actually pretty close between the two. That wasn't that different. So I respect that. I haven't gotten to uh, any of the DLCs yet. And I think Black Gulch was pretty close. Um the gutter was a weird situation. Um where again, they had changed it by default to be just like pitch black. Um, yeah, okay, so here we go. So this is what it looks like uh, after things are disabled. And this is with the default mode. So it just gets a lot darker and there's like no fog. The ambiance is just completely different. So this is with things are disabled. Uh, which is what my mod will do. And then this is the default, which is darker, yes, but I I don't think that's a better match for uh, the area. So let's see, what's another place we can go to? Um, I think that looked fairly similar. I'm actually kind of uh, curious because I haven't tested out Dragon Shrine yet while we're here. This is, this is completely new. I, I have not tested this. Let's see if I've already disabled it from prior. No, I haven't. Okay. So here we go. This is what Dragon Shrine looks like by default in Lighting Engine. Oh my god. Okay, well, the sky looks fucking terrible. Oh my god. Well, I don't think that's accurate. Well, my texture mod would fix that, but I don't remember it looking that ass. I don't know. Hmm. Okay, well that's weird, because in the base game it doesn't look like that. Or, without lighting engine. Yeah, I think they did something with clouds here. There's something going on that's fucking the sky up, because this texture looks way too low resolution for what it actually is. Yeah, I don't... Okay, I mean I'll still disable it, but like, I don't know. But look at the look at the vibe difference, regardless of like the low texture. That's weird. I have a texture mod, so maybe that'll fix it. But because I'm not using any texture overrides right now. Um, look at the vibe difference. That's huge. That completely changes the artistic intent here. Like, of course, by default, these are clouds and these are beautiful. Don't get me wrong, the skybox looks better, it does. But the coloring. If you just kept the coloring the same, this is how Dragon Shrine should... Oh my god, yeah, I don't know what's going on with the skybox. There is something fucked with that skybox. <laughs> that is not how it looks in the default game. So I don't know, that's got to be a bug in LE or Lighting Engine in some way. Because yeah, I've played the base game and I've played vanilla. It does not look like that. Um, God, that is the lowest resolution skybox of all time. But that's, yeah, that's not how it looks by default. Um, but, like, what are we doing? I, I don't know, yeah. That, that bugs me a little bit, I'll admit. That that genuinely does bug me. Um, okay. So that, that's my raw reaction. <laughs> I'm like, I don't, I don't like that. Um, Alright, so let's see. While we're here. Uh... I wonder about the DLC. I don't know. I'm hoping they didn't change the DLC at all. Um, another thing about Lighting Engine, setting it up... So the weird thing is when you download Lighting Engine by default, it already has HDR color grading enabled by default. It's weird. They just assume you have an HDR and you're using HDR. I think most people statistically are absolutely not. And you want LDR. So always make sure in this you go under post-process and you disable... HDR color grading and then I would also recommend you disable LDR color grading external LUT just go to none go to to look like the base game because that'll goof everything up if you pick one of those um, so okay so here's what it looks like by default which looks from memory because I have played the DLC somewhat recently 
Uh, also, I like the added depth on the floor here. Oh my god, that looks so good. Yeah, okay. So here we go. Um, so this is what Lighting Engine Default looks like. And then when we disable them, you'll notice it adds more fog to everything, as it should be. Once again, I don't know why... I mean, that, that I think is obviously a smaller difference. But even like the light that the character is receiving here, there's like an extra light that's being added. So once again, yeah, I prefer uh, with the lighting engine overrides disabled. Um, so let's see, where else? Where else while we're here? I am curious if they did anything to this DLC. Probably a small difference or something, but because they're so amazing by default that I'm like, why would we want to change that? Um, okay. Let's see if this is... Okay, so good. So this is what Lighting Engine Default looks like, which is, to my memory, fine. I'm trying to test my memory here, which is pretty shitty. Okay, so here we go. Let's see. So it seems like it makes the sky brighter. Yeah, you are kind of losing the coloring on the sky there when you, you go back to lighting engine default. Yeah, okay. I mean, ooh, okay, so now here's we here we get to a bigger difference. Yeah, so lighting engine darkens all of this distant detail. And when you disable it, yeah, okay. So that puts me back towards preferring it disabled because you are losing a bit of the detail here. Yeah, it darkens the Oh, yeah, it really, I think it kind of ruins this distant lava. Yeah, you're just completely losing some detail on that. So, yeah, once again, disabling it, I prefer that. I'm trying to be fair as far as, like, okay, what changed? Did anything change? Uh, yeah, let's see if they changed anything with the Ivory King DLC. Um, I still have to go to more areas that were using different... Uh, atmosphere settings just to make sure that I make sure it's all consistent and disabled okay um I feel like this is missing a bit of fog but I, I think I already finished this area so that's oh fuck me what the hell wow it's oh my god what the fuck Wait, do I have... Okay, I have Dynamic Sky enabled. I was trying to make sure. I was like, do I have an accurate... Interesting. I don't... I guess I don't hate their changes here. I mean, it's, it's overall more blue, which does admittedly fit, like, the overall vibe. Also, look at the parallax on this floor. They may have gone a little too far on the parallax here. As you can notice, there's some parallax artifacts. Um with it being a little too high and the crevices are kind of floating on their own there. Um, but, you know, still, I think, looks pretty great overall. Wow. Yeah, that is a ridiculously different look, though. Yeah, I will say, once again, you are losing that sky detail. Yeah, like, look at these distant mountains. So when you disable it, you get the... Yeah, that's crazy. I will say, you're kind of... The vibe is, is, is definitely different. And you're losing some of the... You're losing a lot of the contrast, to be honest. Um, now, this is after beating uh, and melting shit. Yeah, so this is where it goes back to uh, the lighting engine default. Wow. Ooh. Yeah, you also notice with Lighting Engine Default, there's also this weird skybox issue that's going on over here. Yeah, there's this big box that's present. I wonder what that is. And it disappears uh, when you disable things. Yeah, once again, I prefer it disabled. Really trying to be fair with that. And there were some positives, I think, to, to what they did change. With it overall being more blue, I didn't hate. Uh, I do think you were losing some of the contrast. Um, okay, so we went through that. 
Um, I guess I'll end the video there. I think you get the gist. I think you get the gist of what I'm saying. Is that I, 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 I think people are missing out on the authentic Dark Souls 2 experience. Not that it would change their gameplay massively, right? Like, it's not like they're going to be like, oh my god, it's a completely different game now. But I do think you're missing some of the artistic integrity that it's just being lost by artistic changes that are being applied by default and not being told, seemingly, uh, to the end user. So, I don't know. I would like new people to have the authentic Dark Souls 2 experience, uh, visually. Um, now, let me know in the comments if... I'm wrong, which is fair, uh, and that I'm making too much of a big deal of it, or whatever, really. I, like, that's fine. Um, and I hope that if anyone from the Lighting Engine Discord does watch this, I do love the Lighting Engine. I think you'll see my posts on Twitter reflect that, and I've helped people. There was, there was a reply to the Digital Foundry video, which, by the way, there's a Digital Foundry video on the Lighting Engine, and it's fucking awesome. It just came out. Uh, and it's so cool to see that in a Digital Foundry video. Um, but someone was replying that they're like, oh, I prefer how the original looks. And and I think it's because they, they picked a certain screenshot that didn't, which I think partially has to do with like the tone mapping or whatever. But anyway, I you can look. I defended Lighting Engine and was like, oh, it's very versatile and there's tone mapping. So like, it's not like you're stuck into something like that. Um and I even retweeted that the video came out and how awesome it was. So, like, I don't know. Uh, I'm kind of damned if I do, damned if I don't. But I thought I should put this out here. Um, you guys decide. <laughs> or just let me know what you think. Uh, do you prefer the new or the old? Uh, the lighting engine default? Or uh, whenever I disable it, it goes back to respecting, like, the base game's colors and skyboxes. Um, yeah, let me know. And uh, I, I'm calling it DS2 Classic. That's work in progress. Or DS2... I don't know, let me... Come up with name ideas. Because it's really just a text file. It's just going to be a really small mod that you just drop in and go, okay, there you go. Um, so it's not even a hard... As you can see, it's not a hard mod to make. It's, you just run around and go, whoop, flip on, flip off, flip on, flip off. See what you prefer. Thus far, I've always preferred the... Uh, base game aesthetic not lighting engine so uh, now of course I, I you know I want to be 100% clear here that lighting engine is still doing an absolute shitload of stuff even when you check that box like it's still the parallax occlusion mapping the entire renderer the way that it's handling ambient occlusion the anti-aliasing like it's doing so much and it's so fucking awesome it's just the artistic changes that I'm like yeah don't like. So that sums it up. I hope that's clear through this video. Uh, but thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.